My name is Nico Nathaniel S. Alfanta and you're watching us live from LNA Studios and this is News Today. In today's news forecast, Typhoon Ulysses damages to agricultural sector at 4.72 billion pesos. Typhoon Ulysses, a Category 4 equivalent typhoon, has hit the majority of Luzon, including Region 2, one of the most severely affected areas by the typhoon. Typhoon Ulysses' damage and losses to the agricultural sector has increased to 12.8 billion, from the previously recorded 4 billion to the production losses of farm commodities such as rice, corn, high value crops, among others. Based on the report, the damage to infrastructure caused by Ulysses cost the country 11.89 billion pesos. Cagayan Valley was the most affected with 4.95 billion pesos worth of damages recorded in the area. On November 12, Marikina's water level had risen to 22 meters, submerging most of the parts of the city in floodwaters, according to the Marikina Public Information Office. Marikina Mayor Marcelino Teodoro declared the city under a state of calamity due to the massive floods brought by the typhoon. By November 13, a water level of 192.7 meters, just a few meters below the dam's spilling point, forced the Magat Dam to continue releasing water. All gates of the dam were opened as the dam released over 5,000 37 cubic meters of water into the Cagayan River as numerous riverside towns experienced massive flooding. Local governments continuously conducted rescue operations in their areas but had run up of equipment and manpower to rescue. Because there was very little media coverage of the flooding of the area, residents resorted to social media to request the national government for rescue. Waters under the Buntun Bridge went up as high as 13 meters flooding the nearby barangays up to the roof of the houses. Rescue efforts continued in the early hours of November 14, but low visibility made aerial rescue efforts impossible until daylight. Cagayan and Isabella have since declared a state of calamity. A total of 73 dead, 85 injured, and 19 missing people reported in regions 2, 3, Calabarzon, 5, CAR, and NCR. And the RMC said, adding that these numbers are subject to further validation. According to the agency, 4,421,580 individuals, over 1 million families, were affected by the typhoon. Of these, 101,887 persons, over 25,000 families, are still spread out across 443 evacuation centers. Typhoon Kinta, Super Typhoon Raleigh, and Ulysses all lashed out on Luzon in a span of three weeks, causing President Rodrigo Duterte to put Luzon under a state of calamity. That's all we have for today. You're watching News Today. My name is Nicolas Daniel S. Alfanta, signing off.